Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about SED, which I think is one of the most useful tools uh, that I've ever learned on Lynx. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, note for today, uh, I'm going to be using GNU SED, so a few of the options are going to be slightly different on BSD. I'll try and point those out if I remember the <laughs> particular ones that are different. Um, I think it's mostly just dash I, but anyway, uh, let's get started. So SED, if we do man SED, SED is a stream editor. Now, I'm just going to be going over the very basics of SED today. Uh, SED is actually basically a programming language, and so it has a lot more use cases than the one that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, but we're just going to go over the basics and probably the stuff that'll get you through like 99% of the use cases. Um, you can always Google, you know, SED, some other operation, um, and find the more advanced ones. But yeah, so SED is a stream editor, and so what that means is it's going to take input as text and output uh, something else. The most common use case that I use SED for is to find and replace text, uh, and that is what we're going to start with. Uh, so to get started, we're going to make a stream. So I'm going to make a little a little file here that has some text in it. Hello, I know, hello, hello, and we'll uh, note that I put it in lines. That's just going to make it easier for us to see this later. And so set can take input either as a number of file names or as standard in. So if we did, you know, an unnecessary cat here and piped it into sed, uh, then we will tell it a program. The most basic program and the one you're probably going to be using the most is the replace program. And that is S and, uh, you know, slash, slash, slash. And this is the uh, start string and the replacement. And then flags go after it. So the most common one that I've uh, that I'll see is like, let's say we're, we're replacing hello with oh hi, and we're doing that globally. So this is the search regular expression, this is the replace regular expression, uh, this is telling it to do the search command, and G is saying do this globally. So if we do this, uh, you'll see it works from standard in. Uh, if we don't have this unnecessary cat, which again, like you should avoid unnecessary cats, if we just pass the file name here, you'll see that it's replaced it as part of that file name. Now note this G flag means that it's replacing globally. If you don't have this G flag, it will only do this replacement once per line. So if we do this, uh, you'll see that we get, you know, this this hello line got replaced entirely. Let me show the original file. Uh, this hello line got replaced uh, entirely, but in this line, even though there were two matches here, because I didn't do slash G, only the first one was replaced. Um, and again, world was left alone. Now, the first thing to note is about these patterns. Uh, conventionally, you use slashes here to do replacements, uh, but sometimes you might need to replace things within a slash. So if we, you know, uh, put something in here and put like a slash b, b slash c or whatever, uh, and we cat that file again, we might need to use slashes as part of our regular expressions. And the cool thing about sed is you can actually use any character here as long as you're consistent for all three of them. So if we take this file again and we do sed, I don't know, let's say we want to replace dot slash dot. Uh, of course, we can't use um, uh, forward slash, so let's use pipe instead. Uh, and let's replace that with, I don't know, a underscore a. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get into too complicated regular expressions here. Um, so if we do that, you'll see that it's able to match the slashes here, and I've used a different uh, pipe character, or a different um, delimiter character here. Uh, yeah, so I actually did a video on regular expressions. I'm not going to go over more complicated stuff, but uh, if you want to learn more about regular expressions, that video will be in the description. Um, so the other thing about said is you can chain commands together, and the way you chain commands together is by putting a semicolon between them. Uh, so this is the first like uh, expression here, and if we want to add another command here, let's say we wanted to do this same command that we did up here, um, you can you know chain as many of these said commands in a row, uh, as long as they're part of that same program string there. So you can see here, uh, we're now doing this, you know, dot slash dot, where dot is any character. Um, and we're also doing the hello to oh hi replacement. Okay, so that, honestly, that probably covers about 90% of what you'll do with said. Uh, let's talk about a few of the options that are, uh, you know, more useful as well. And then I'll tell you free a few you know, tricky programs with said. Uh, so the first option is to turn on extended regular expressions because by default, these are uh, 
they're, they're POSIX regexes, which are not super useful unless you're doing very, very basic things. Uh, so let's, you know, uh, let's do AAA um, and, oops, echo dash E, <laughs> BBB, uh, and CCCC or something like that. Um, so this is just this string here. Let's say that we wanted to replace things that have at least one A in them. Um, and so the way you would do that is with, uh, you know, if we, if we did this as a, you know, extended regular expression, you would be A plus and replace that with, I don't know, some number of A's. Uh, and you'll see here that it didn't match this at all, which I did expect this to match it, but, um, and that is because this is not supported in POSIX regular expressions. And the way you enable extended regular expressions by doing dash R, I believe it is. Uh, yes, yeah, so regex extend, extended or dash capital E, which matches the same flag as um, as grep. So I, I guess I would suggest using capital E. I don't know why I remember dash R, but um, and you can see here now the plus is understood. And so this replacement happens. So that's the first flag that I think is really useful. Uh, the next flag that I think is really useful is dash I. And this one, this is one of the ones that doesn't work in BSD said the way that it works in POSIX said. Uh, or sorry, in GNU said. I don't want to say POSIX because POSIX is the, the real lowest common denominator there. Uh, and the dash I flag is for doing in-place replacement. So if it's operating on files, it's going to read that file, make that change, and then write back that same file. So if we look at our, our T file here and we wanted to replace the contents in this file, you would use said dash I, and let's do that same hello to Ohio replacement uh, in T. And this will print nothing, but if we look at T now, it will have done the replacement here. Um, and so I is kind of the in-place replacement. There's tricks to do this on Mac OS, um, but I would I would strongly suggest installing GNU said. Uh, I think you can do brew install GNU dash said, and uh, then you can use G said instead of said, and it'll do this the same idea. Um, but honestly, those are the two options that I use the most. So dash I and dash capital E. Uh, there are a bunch of other options, but I don't know. Those are those are kind of the the useful ones. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to show uh, is there there are a ton of commands that happen here. I've only shown the kind of search and replace as well as you know chaining commands together. Uh, I want to show you one other command that I think is kind of useful and one of the things that's you know, most most common from my use cases. Uh, which is dropping a line. Now again, like there's a there's an entire there's an entire list of commands here. I'm only going over two very very basic ones, uh, and that is slash d. So let's do that instead. So I want to uh, said I want to search for something. So let's actually search for all of these oh hi lines and drop them. Uh, so we want to find a line that starts with oh hi, and I'm going to do slash d. Now note I didn't have a command here before, so uh, the way said kind of executes this is it interprets this as a match, and then this is a drop line command. Um, and if we were to run that over T, you'll see that it has dropped those lines. So here's yet another command there. But there are a ton of them. Uh, there are a ton of commands and a ton of different things you can do with said. I don't remember whether it's Turing complete or not. It might be. Um, if if not, it's very close to being Turing complete. <laughs> um, but yeah, said's basically an entire programming language. Um, but yeah, I find it super useful for replacing text, so hopefully you do as well. Um, but anyway, uh, if you have additional things you want to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.